Hey guys, Will here. Uh, I just want to go ahead and attempt to debunk some of these Apollo 11 images. I got these from different sources, okay? Just got these right off the web. Apollo 11 color images. Now the reason I got them from different sources is that I want to see if there's any this pixelation that comes from degradation, copy and pasting them, putting them on other sites. So let's see where I got these from. Uh, this is where I uh, grabbed all my images, Apollo 11 color images. Um, HQ NASA. So this one will be great. We can definitely uh, see the, well, that's, uh, let me just say, I can see this, uh, I can see this just here. You can see this blue and this blue streak, whatever this is, whatever this blue streak is, extends perfectly behind this astronaut. So it's just weird. <clears throat> Here's this one. HQ NASA again. Uh, this is a marble shot astronautics. So you're looking for degradation. ATS above top secret. Uh, we're not saying this is a real picture, but we're just looking at it. Very well could be. Um, Petapixel. Now, I can't tell you this is real from Petapixel, but this says this is a Apollo 11. And if you look at this uh, white flag here, that's in some of the later Apollo 11 mission pictures. So <clears throat> I think this is accurate. I think this is a real Apollo 11 photo. Um... So this is a supposed photo of the color camcorder that was used to capture the uh, the landing and the uh, not the landing but the uh, astronauts getting out and everything like that. Uh, <clears throat> so supposedly this is the first photo again, a petapixel. So we'll have to see, but. Uh, I'm going to look at this. Uh, <clears throat> here's uh, supposedly an experiment. Uh, it's degraded. If we can see some pixelation in the black here already, that's fine. Uh, but we're going to really look and see what that pixelation comes like, looks like. Uh, we got another marble. It's a crescent marble here. Now Getty. Um, to my knowledge, Getty just goes ahead and uses NASA. Uh, I can I speak from that? I do not know Getty for sure, but these are pictures of the blue marble as we see. There's another Getty that says it's Apollo 11. Uh, here's that white flag again, <clears throat> that white banner. Hmm. And you can see some, I mean, this right here is some obvious pixelation. Look, look, right corners and such like that. You can kind of see it here also. So it is possible this shows some degradation or some copy pasting or whatever. We don't know. Um, this is my lander from very far off, a far shot that we're going to be looking at. This is a high shot um, from, looks like above the capsule, above the lander. <clears throat> Here's the capsule from the orbiting. Uh, the moon orbiter and then the capsule and uh, so it's looking down uh, and then here's that banner again um, and this is see this is LPI so that's why I really thought those images with the banner and stuff like that were accurate because this LPI is an accurate and true um, <clears throat> site so those are the images that I used I have not edited these yet I do not I do not have any expectations. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to get. Uh, I just know we're going to look at these. So, very simple. I'm just taking you through these as I do it. Um, we're going to see. We're going to find it out, and we are going to. Well, that's awfully ugly. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, we looked at these uh, Apollo 11 other images and. Boy, they did not come up like this. I mean, I really don't even have to uh, zoom in on this to see it. And, and that is just 
that is bizarre. So again, we're looking at huge pixelation. Um, so, okay, we're just gonna close that one out. So that one, that was really bad. That was the uh, supposedly the first image that uh, Buzz Aldrin took. Okay, so let's look at this. Whoa, 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 man, I'm telling you, this is just bizarre. Hmm. <clears throat> so, you're going to tell me that all those pixels are just from the digitization. Really? So it's because we put these digital? Huh. Huh. Okay, so I'm looking for this one that we have. <clears throat> this is an ATS picture above top secret. Um, it's a conspiracy form. So I do not know. Well, let's, let's go ahead and let's see where this image is from. Let's see what they say it's from. Because when do we get pictures of the moon in color? So this is people talking about the moon and this is people showing this is pictures of the moon in color. Um, I would like to find out if this is Apollo 11. Um, but we're, we're, we're looking at the uh, salute here. Salute. Oh, I closed it. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I definitely think that uh, it's a possible this is real. Uh, if this is real, why do we not have any other degradation? Zero, zero. I mean, it's just white. Um, I don't know. It's just a bizarre one. Now, I'm not doing these in any order. They're just kind of how they popped up. I opened them all up at once. Let's look at this brightness. Ah, okay. So, let me tell you there's something kind of odd there. Um, That's just that's just really bizarre. Those light flares, lens flares. Um, so we see some of the pixelation. We don't see any of the huge. Oh man. Um, forgot to hit. Okay. Vic. Okay. There we go. So we see some of the. I mean, this is major pixelization. Is this from the digit digitization? Why were the pre uh, pre flight Apollo 17 photos not uh, did not undergo the same digitalization? I mean, they they underwent the same digitalization, but not the pixelation from the digitization. Huh? Okay. Don't know. I. I I'm saying the same things over and over, guys, but, uh, you know, it's just the same question over and over, and uh, I really don't, oh, man, see, I don't know why it does that. I really don't know. So this is a pixelated and kind of grainy photo. We're really looking at, uh, eh, really, really, oh, man, I don't know where we're at. There we are. Yay, we found it. Guys, there's something screwy going on with my mouse, and I really do apologize. But let's look at this here. Um, now, you see here, it just really does not get that absolute huge pixelation that we really expected to see. I mean, this is a lot less. This is kind of what I would expect if it was just going to be digitalization. Um, no huge right angles, just some kind of stuff on the side. And this is much more blurry, so there would be more pixelation. It's very odd that it's not there. 
Okay, so let's uh, see if I can just click it twice. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and change the brightness. Change the brightness here. Okay, let's see. So now tell me if and see the, there is pixelation up here. There's a little bit. There's a little bit here. So you're going to tell me that this is normal? No. I mean, like, that this is abnormal, okay? But don't even see anything. I mean, this is, look, watch. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So why is there no pixelation? That's, that's uh... Now, as we can see, I suppose this is the moon and this is the capsule, so it's really bizarre not to see any pixelation on here. That really goes against the we didn't go to the moon theory. I need a trackball, man. So this is the high angle one. And... I mean, you see a little bit of pixelation there, and you know, I'm, I'm just backing off the contrast a little so you can see this pixelation is right on the edges. Now that's that's uh, yeah, believable, very very believable. You know, and there's nothing about this shot that says that it couldn't be on Earth here, especially the flag waving, wind, ha. <laughs> It uh, kept waving because they moved it, uh, and it just kept moving. Yeah, so I really believe that one. Oh, maybe it's because I drag when I click. I don't know. I just clicked once. So, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do now is get this colorized. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> so, look at this. What is all of this? Seriously? Yeah. Um, multiple triangles? And like almost round objects and rectangles from this picture of a camera? Huh, yeah. So that's just digitizing all these colors and look at these big blocks of colors. No. I disagree. I disagree. See, I, I see something like this, and it makes me question everything, because that's supposedly the camera that showed the uh, moon landing. Well, that showed the moon landing. That's, uh... Now, remember, this was from an external source, so there's it's, it's not really proving anything. Oops, went the wrong way. <laughs> but uh, look at those aberrations around there. How I mean, you know, um, there would be aberrations in space if these aberrations were there. Um, this is, you know, vaguely. Is this the one where we could see it? Yeah, you could really see the right angles in here, where it's almost like a cut and paste job. If you see here. Uh, and then there's some masking here on the, uh, well not masking, the pixelation aberrations here on with the moon surface. Hmm, very skeptical on this one. But, third party, third party site, so, you know, we're just, we're just looking at these. We gotta remember, not all of these are from NASA guys. Majority, yes. Okay. Too much, too much, too much, too much. 
There we go. That's pretty good. We'll just look at here. Yowzer. Okay, looks good so far, but it's always moving up this contrast right here. Mm, yeah, yeah, look at that. Hmm. So, you're going to tell me that the aberrations would just oh, would just be around that that little marble no I disagree I buggered I, I bothered I bungled that uh, zoom so I'll just go you guys I mean I, I'm just going through this once I'm just uh, I'm just doing this once you can see it uh, now look there guys <clears throat> this is what you would expect. I mean, look, you can see a little bit of these aberrations here, but they're not wildly colored. You know, this is a color image. That's, that's what I wanted to show you is that just because it's a color image and it's been digitalized, that does not make all these vastly colored pixels outside. Um, I don't know when this was taken, but... Uh, you know, it's tagged with the Apollo name, um, and it's just not there. It's just not there, guys. So, of course, that's Getty. We're looking at Getty. Someone, someone, please let me know about Getty. Let me know uh, if their images are straight from NASA or where they get these. If these are all created or fake. Now, see, look, mm, look at this one. What is this mesh? Would this not be visible in every single photo that's taken with this camera in a black background? If this was, you know, if this was just from blackness, darkness, or anything like that, we would not see these aberrations like we do. Look, I mean, this, this right here, that is absolutely bonkers okay um, it's not really vastly colored or vastly right angled like the ones that I'm skeptical of but I just don't like this picture I, I don't know there's something about that checkerboard pattern that is just I don't like so we got a couple more guys a couple more please stay with me stay with me you're doing great I know this is long there's a lot of images here Look at this, guys. So this is my long shot, right? Just look around the lander. Look, 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 look. Cut and paste. You see it? See it? Look, you can see where they had to go around it and cut and paste. Okay. You see it right there? You see it? <laughs> it's just, I mean, where are these boxes coming from? Why is this here? That's a shadow, guys. Look, here, watch. That's a shadow. So where are these colors coming from? Where are these large boxes? Where are these abnormal picture pixels coming from? Why is it why is it shaped like that? It's just very bizarre. Very bizarre. Like I that's not a digital artifact. I mean, it is a digital artifact, but it's not an artifact from digitalization. In my opinion, I would love some graphics experts who come in here and not insult people and actually show if, if you can show this is digitalization. What, what is that? What? 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 I mean, why would there be a whole block over here? What, I, I, I don't 
I can understand a little bit here, but what's this? What's this? You know, what's all this here? I mean, that is... Look, you can even see it right there. To me, this cut and paste. Shadows and light do not make right angles like that. That That's just fake. Okay? I, I, I mean... Now I, I leave I leave the possibility I could be I could be totally wrong, okay? And I don't want to insult people and I don't want to uh, I'm saving that one for last cuz it's got that great visor. Uh, I'm saving the ones with the visor cuz I think those are those are the ones that that we see. Oh man. Those are the ones that we see and it just just doesn't look right where we can see the okay that looks all right where we can see the uh, reflection in the visor so I'm, I'm looking forward to that I'm saving those for the end ah. all right nothing too bizarre yet huh that's a weird glow around him okay nothing too bizarre whoa whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. So we went from black to super. And again, we're getting this absolute super pattern here. And it's not on all the images. And it's not on all the images. I mean, you could see this glow, this halo that was around the astronaut before the contrast was really up so that that's very bizarre um, I guess that's all the photos I guess that's just it um, no wait 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 there we go ha. Uh, yeah I just clicked on the wrong thing that's the game yeah I play on Steam guys He's on Steam. He's got to be a government agent. Oh, does not operate on index layers. Okay, so very simply, all that we have to do when it says it does not operate on image index layers, you go to over here to image, mode, and then RGB. And then you can go ahead and... Eh, we're not trying to colorize. We're trying to brightness and contrast. And remember, this is the one with that... Uh, this is another one with that white flag. I don't see anything yet, yet, yet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, mouse. Work. Yeah, see, what, what is that? Why, why this green? <laughs> Guys, look at this. That is absolutely proof. If you don't see paint on this, Okay, now I've got to figure out where this picture's from. If you don't see that being painted, if you don't see that as MS paint, we've got some problems, people. we got some problems. So I think this one was, yeah, lpi.usra.edu. Guys, this is an official, official website. Okay, it's official, Apollo 11. So you're going to tell me that officially this is an image edited? Guys, I did not know what to expect. Uh, I've seen edited photos. I've seen what I expect to be edited photos. But now, 100%, I think you would agree. This is absolutely edited. Absolutely, if you've ever used MS Paint. You can tell. Look look I mean hmm no that's black and that's supposed to be space but no so on those other pictures where I saw that haze and that halo the moment I busted up that contrast and I saw that green halo I said huh that's weird I hadn't seen that before bust it up a little more and you see this and this and this even these squiggly lines you see right here that's that's look it's the same brush size as this. Look, the same brush size. 
the same brush size. I mean, you know, the same brush size. He just went. <laughs> okay, and what's this? Oh, well, I don't know. Let's see what that is. Okay, that's the. Uh, <clears throat> that's our great video camera, there, guys. It's our great video camera, and look, they had to go out all around it. So. Now, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't have any prejudgments. I did all these for you live. That was funny. Here's the last one, guys. Maybe I say the best for last. Maybe the best was second to last. But, uh, you know, when I saw this and I saw this blue here and I saw this blue here. Now, yes, if this is film, there is the possibility that something happened to the negatives happened to the film and that this is an artifact on the film and then carried over to the digitalization so what is that now with was this astronaut even here how is the reflection of – guys, you must look at this and just think of this for a second. How is the reflection of the horizon going to be lined up exactly? And then this blue thing is here. My answer is this astronaut was never here. This is the normal horizon. This was this normal blue artifact, and they didn't clear it out. They just tried to make it look like it was this editing, like it was an astronaut and reflection. If you look, you pop this up. Uh, it just doesn't look right, guys. just does not look right. And this horizon is supposedly curved. So how would the horizon behind the camera be at the same exact angle and level if it's curving from the background to the foreground? It curves down, and then behind the camera, it's curving down even more. Not only that, this is supposed to curve left and right. You know what? Let's let's just do this. Um, what am I gonna do here? Let's just let's just, let's just do this. Um, uh, that's not what I want. Oh, I think what I want is this. Okay, so I very simply just. Okay, guys, so you're going to tell me. Oh, I don't like to lose that. Well, I'm really trying not to screw this up, but you're going to tell me that this is a little off. I'm going to go ahead and colorize this. You're going to tell me that this. This horizon and everything about this. Now, yes, the astronaut's visor here is curved. Is it possible that we're getting a reflection of this curve and it just happens to be perfect and happens to line up and everything is just absolutely perfect? Yes, it's a possibility. But it's also a possibility that it's completely fake. It's also a possibility that. I mean, just look, okay, how is that blue thing going from behind the camera to here perfectly? I mean, we are talking perfectly, look. I mean, yeah, 
Joker, so really, if you look, and then, oh, and this, I mean, come on, guys, really, just look at this, I'm, I'm impartial, uh, I used to try to give people the benefit of the doubt. This blue right here, this blue, this blue, leaves me no doubt. This horizon leaves me no doubt. That MS paint squiggly line junk that I saw leaves me no doubt. The images from Apollo 11 before the mission without all these pixelations leaves me no doubt. I don't expect to prove this to you by showing you the images because obviously I took these and edited these and I added all these pixels in, right? I mean, how else would they come up on the NASA archive? I obviously added them in and uploaded them to NASA and to LPI. So where's the disinfo at, guys? Who's lying to you? Thanks again. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for viewing this. It took a really long time. Love you guys. Keep it up. You know, this is probably one of the hardest things that our generation has to come to grips with. So, you know, just go out there. And uh, I hope we can all treat each other a little better. I, I know I'm a bit cynical and a bit abrasive to those who don't agree with me, especially when they're insulting me and uh, insulting my intelligence, insulting my method, insulting everything, insulting nothing and everything at the same time. But these people don't know any better. You know, our aversion to these people, like let's say we're going to, butthead number one is giving me a hard time. If I lash out back, I'm not really too worried about losing the respect of butthole one. But what about observer one, two, and three, four, five people sitting there looking and watching and reading and just judging? They'd be pretty disappointed that I lashed out. They'd be pretty disappointed at the lack of immaturity. So while it's easy to get defensive, you know, and please, please, I apologize ahead of time. I, I know it happens. It happens in conversations a lot. Some of it's sarcasm, and some of it is just me being a butthead. I'll be honest. So please try to give me the benefit of the doubt. Um, if it seems like I'm being rude, uh, call me out on it. I, I'm, I'm going to try to accept everybody's opinion, okay? Because they're your opinion, they're valid. But, all right, guys, thanks a lot. I just want to say, you know, hey, let's just be more friendly to everybody. It's that universal friendship, you know? I definitely agree with that. People say, you know, well, that's uh, that's Mark Sargent. He's just preaching this friendship. Well, no, it's not that easy. We do need friendship. We are humans. Even if this has nothing to do with nothing in the end of this, if you treat people badly because of it, society is losing out. All right, guys. Thanks. Respect others. Love mankind. Love the planet. Love our country. Hate our government. Hate NASA.